The overview of my talk that I will be presenting in Symposium X today is built upon this concept of using nanoscale building blocks to construct larger materials. So at the nanoscale, all materials exhibit very unique properties, and what we have figured out how to do is how to harness these beneficial properties of the individual nanostructures, nanopillars, for example, or nanopipes or nanotubes, and in a Lego-like fashion to construct them into larger materials such that they have specific architectures. So to a human eye, it will look like you're holding um, a large amount of material, imagine a brick. So it looks like a brick, but that's made out of clouds and it weighs virtually nothing because the dimensions of these uh, constructions are below what your eye can resolve. And so to you, it just looks like a solid cloud sitting on, on your hand, and yet they have very interesting, unique properties. And so what I will describe is how to, first of all, how to create them, and secondly, why they offer these beneficial properties, and also what kind of applications we can, um, we, we can, uh, can benefit from this technology. Some of the main takeaway messages from this symposium are that we no longer have to be slaves to the material properties that um, exist today. For example, to make a bridge today, you know you need to mix this much concrete and you put it in the furnace and you fire it at these particular temperatures and pressures. And then with that, you get a material that's very strong, but at the same time, maybe it doesn't have a very high fracture toughness. Maybe it's full of flaws. Maybe it um, suffers from a low fatigue resistance. So what we are going to show, or what the main takeaway message is, is that we no longer have to suffer from these detrimental aspects because now we can design materials that are first of all very lightweight so they're not going to crumple under, under its own weight. They're going to have a lot fewer flaws and yet they're going to retain the same mechanical stress, uh, mechanical strength and resilience. So the main educational point of this talk is to teach people that we no longer have to be slaves to these coupled material properties that have been in existence for centuries.